being competitive or creative or both? How do they relate? Which is better? This is Philip Montrose. My wife and partner and I help people step up with the heart and soul with coaching and healing. And in this short video, I want to ask you a question. What would you rather be in? What kind of state? What kind of world? A dog-eat-dog -dog world? A Darwinian survival of the fittest? Or an interconnected world uh, where you can creatively problem solve and everything makes sense. We're all in it together. Which is more inviting? What makes more sense? Well, the first one, the dog-eat-dog -dog is a competitive world. The second, it gives you a taste of the creative plane. And I want to explain what those important terms mean. The idea is what kind of thoughts and behaviors govern you. And Wallace Waddle, a century ago in the science of being great and the science of getting rich, described the competitive and creative plane. They're both existing and we want to understand what they are and how they affect us because it's quite a bit as we go about our daily life. So first, an overview, a comparison. What are these, these worlds, these competitive and creative worlds we find ourselves in and can access and live in or uh, avoid or embrace? So the comparison here is the competitive world is quite polarized and dualistic and it includes us versus them, top-down hierarchy, profit-oriented, performance, and outcome-based. Now, the creative plane is quite holistic and inclusive, as you might imagine. It includes being inclusive, unity and diversity, scale and relativity, seeing the big picture in shades of gray, a purpose, planet, profit approach, recognizing the lower can't see the higher. So let's delve a little more into the competitive plane, a world where uh, it's, it's very intense and extreme, all or nothing, us versus them. If you're in a business, it's all about profits. It's the bottom line, and, and nothing else really matters. Uh, you may be shade the truth, be dishonest, uh, exaggerate about your profits, uh, maybe promise more than you can deliver. Uh, if it's a religion or a group, you're in the in-group, they're in the out-group. Uh, you're saved, they're lost. They may even be your enemy. Uh, so this very polarized us versus them, all or nothing, dualistic world. In the creative world, it's more inclusive. Uh, if you have a business, say, uh, you, are, uh, you, you are concerned about profits and success, but it's not all about numbers and dollars and numbers of people and clients, that's important. It's only a part of it. It's your contribution. It, it, it's a journey. It's an exploration. It's, it's a lot of trial and error and what you learn in the process and how you can help yourself and other people. If you're in a group, you see that group, how it relates and can help not only yourself and that group, but other people. You have a broader, more embracing world. Well, the idea is to be more in the creative world, rising to the creative plane. That's part of the evolutionary journey, but it isn't all or nothing in itself. It's integrated, it's interrelated, and we can use some of that competitive energy, that competitive juices to be our best drive, focus, motivation, and it, sometimes it overwhelms us. It, it, it becomes heavy. It becomes kind of repulsive and restrictive in ways, and that can be a motivation in itself to overcome and transcend and rise to that field of infinite possibilities where, where love and creative problem solving abound, and namely the, uh, the creative plane. Uh, so on the one hand, it might be a foil being the uh, uh, in the competitive world, uh, and you may use it. On the other hand, it may be a launching pad to go to something higher, more integrative and inclusive as you learn from your experiences. So to wrap it all up, sometimes this polarization with the racism, the materialism, the patriarchy does become disheartening, and we have to accept the fact that this destructive path might continue, and yet there are things we can do about it. We can rise to the creative plane. We can live there much more often. And that includes we can attune our mindset to more love, generosity, and compassion. We can stand up for ourselves while humbly learning and growing. We can keep remembering how we are all connected.
And beneath all this chaos, there is a divine order. It's as natural as the air we breathe. If we can connect to it and just be still for a moment, be in that moment where we use the competitive plane uh, and transcend it and are more in the creative plane, uh, fuse them, use them, uh, and make the most of this human experience uh, and explore the challenges and the creati creativity. And with that, there is more love. There, there is more possibilities, actually infinite possibilities coming from the creative plane into this world we live in. Uh, and then we can help ourselves much more and we can love ourselves and be more compassionate to ourselves and our brothers and sisters to make it a better world and a better place to live and to be in. Thank you.